The celiac trunk is a very short vessel that leaves the anterior wall of the aorta just after the aorta passes through the diaphragm. The short celiac trunk divides into three branches, left gastric, common hepatic, and splenic arteries. The left gastric artery courses superiorly and toward the left within the lesser omentum to supply the cardiac region of the stomach, then passes along the lesser curvature toward the pylorus, giving off esophageal and gastric branches to supply the abdominal esophagus and adjacent anterior and posterior walls of the body of the stomach. The left gastric artery continues toward the right to anastomose with the right gastric artery. The common hepatic artery crosses to the right toward the superior aspect of the duodenum and divides into the proper hepatic artery and the gastroduodenal artery. The proper hepatic artery ascends obliquely to the right in the hepatoduodenal ligament adjacent to the portal vein and CBD, divides near the porta hepatis into the right and left hepatic branches, and usually gives off the right gastric artery. The right hepatic branch dispatches the cystic artery to the gallbladder, and divides into the anterior and posterior segmental arteries to supply the segments of the right and caudate lobes of the liver. The left hepatic branch also gives off an artery to the caudate low, as well as medial and lateral segmental arteries to supply the segments of the left lobe and the intermediate branch to the quadrate lobe. The right gastric artery, which can also arise from the common hepatic or gastroduodenal arteries, supplies the lower part of the lesser curvature of the stomach and anastomoses with the left gastric artery within the lesser curvature of the stomach. The gastroduodenal artery descends behind the pylorus to give off many branches, including the anterior and posterior superior pancreatic oduodenal arteries, which supply the superior part of the duodenum and head of the pancreas, and the right gastroepiploic gastroomental artery. The right gastroepiploic artery passes through the greater omentum anastomoses with the left gastroepiploic artery on the inferior surface of the greater curvature and dispatches numerous gastric branches to the anterior and posterior walls of the pyloric and body portions of the stomach. The splenic, leonal, artery is the largest branch of the celiac trunk and passes to the left behind the stomach and along the upper border of the pancreas within the spleno-renal ligament to the hilum of the spleen at the point where the splenic artery courses near the border of the pancreas. It gives off numerous pancreatic branches including the dorsal, great, and caudal pancreatic arteries that supply the body and tail of the pancreas. Just before the splenic artery terminates into numerous splenic branches, it gives rise to the left gastroepiploic artery which gives off epiploic and gastric branches to the greater omentum and anterior and posterior walls of the fundus of the stomach. 